Hey guys, it's Tina Chef here at Rebalance Physical Therapy and Wellness. And on today's, dang, that sounds like me, case history, we are going to be talking about low grade constant headaches that don't seem to be going away. Now, what is this dang, you know, that sounds like me case study? This is where I talk about a case history with you guys that ends up being a musculoskeletal issue that sometimes doesn't always seem or appear like a musculoskeletal issue. All right, so in this case, it was a young male. He's probably in his 30s. He, end up, he ended up coming to see me because he's been having constant low-grade headaches around a three or four out of 10 on a pain scale, zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain possible, that he developed kind of all of a sudden um, years ago for kind of no apparent reason. He he describes, well, he says that he does feel like he ended up waking up with this headache after sleeping funny, um, you know, one night in, in, a, in, in a, at a family member's house. And he's not sure what ended up happening, if he slept really funny or not. But anyway, he woke up and he said, I ended up having this neck pain that then over the next couple of weeks developed into this headache. And he goes, and ever since I've kind of in the last couple of years just had this low grade headache, um, things that tend to, you know, things that tend to increase his headaches, he can't quite figure out, but he's like, I know activity tends to increase it and it gets worse throughout the day. Um, he has had everything else checked out. He has had CAT scans, he's had brain scan, he's had a neurological workup, he's seen an ophthalmologist, he's seen an optometrist to get his vision checked out. He's seen, he's even seen an ENT, which is an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Um, he also went to a chiropractor that um, did specific therapy called NUCA therapy for his headaches, and he said that didn't change anything either. So anyway, long story short, I'm sure I've left a bunch of other things out, but he's had everything kind of cleared in his medical history. And so he's coming to see me now for these um, headaches if I can do anything about it. Now on my examination, there's a lot of things that I you know, ended up checking out from head down into, into the shoulders, but we checked everything from, and we checked out his history from, have you had any shoulder injuries? So did you do anything playing sports when you were younger? Um, were you working out and hurt your shoulder? And ironically enough, he did state that, hey, I was bench, pre bench pressing at one point and I ended up doing something and I tweaked something kind of in the back of my shoulder here. And it was so bad that I was laid up for several, several days just taking medication in order to treat it. And and he said, and that definitely, he goes, that actually occurred after I started having these headaches, but you know, that was definitely something that triggered and made these headaches worse. So we already got something that we're like, huh, there was a shoulder injury at some point. The other thing he mentioned, I asked him about his sleeping patterns. He's like, you know what? Ever since I, w I can remember up until my teens, maybe 18, he's like, I was a stomach sleeper. So he's like, I don't know why it was the most comfortable position to sleep in, but I slept on my stomach for 18 years. Now, for those of you that do this, sleeping on your stomach is a bad idea. Do not sleep on your stomach. It's, it's like the worst position you can sleep in for your head and neck. And even though it's comfortable right now, it'll probably work, be not good for you later. So he's a stomach sleeper. He's had a shoulder injury. Um, and then the other pieces is he mentions he has a scoliosis. Um, that was pretty significant where he, you know, throughout his high school years, he had to wear a brace to stabilize his trunk and his spine to not allow that curvature of his scoliosis to get worse. So there we go. Another layer to add to potentially a problem in the head and neck, right? If you're stiff and you can't move your upper body, well, guess what's going to be moving? Your head and neck is going to be moving a lot um, in order if you can't move your shoulders and your torso because you're in a brace for a long period of time. Now, there were many other things that we kind of also looked at in his history, but those are kind of like the three big things that were like, huh, that could be a reason why these headaches have come on. Now, I ended up examining him and whoa, did we find a lot of different um, muscular, various muscular tensions 
that were happening throughout kind of the head and neck. And what I wanna show you in this very brief picture from the side is look how many muscles you have in your head and neck and your jaw area. This is the front of your head and neck. This is the side, this is the back. And right underneath here, this is actually part of the shoulder blade, okay, and the shoulder. So, and then you can see all the muscles that start to attach down and through here into the collarbone and into the head and neck. So you can already tell from this guy that I ended up evaluating, he had a shoulder injury, okay? He had a scoliosis, which then made all of this work quite a bit. He was a stomach sleeper and he slept funny and he had head and neck pain for a little bit. Well, guess what? Here are all the other muscles that could be involved in that. And now it doesn't take much, like just sleeping in a bad position you know, in your 30s now to trigger something off. And a lot of these muscles, as you guys have probably heard in our other videos, and if you haven't, go check them out, okay, that many of these muscles can actually refer pain into the head and neck and give you headaches. So for this guy, you know, it, it's very obvious that a lot of the, the, the musculoskeletal tension and imbalances in his head and neck is actually potentially um, contributing to these chronic headaches that he's been having for the last couple of years. So if you guys are suffering from head and neck pain, you live in, around, in and around this area, then it's a no-brainer. Come see us, rebalancept.com. All of our description and everything is in the description box below. And if you don't live in and around this area, then we also do um, online consults. So again, that's also in the description box below. But um, hopefully this video was helpful for some of you who've been having a similar problem and you're like, man, nobody can figure out what's going on with me. Well, guess what? It still could be a musculoskeletal issue, but maybe we need to take a look at a bigger picture and not just, you know, in one or two areas. Um, but of course, have everything ruled out first. And then if this video is resonating with you, like it, subscribe to our channel and come see us or talk to us with an online console. So have a wonderful day, people. See you soon.